Hi, this is Cheryl for Bayer's Pampered Stampers. I've got lots of fun new product to show for you to you today. We're going to start first with Penny Black. And first up are these little cards called Masterpieces Made Simple. You'll recognize these from last year. We had a lot of fun designs for the holidays. Um, Bev used them in a Christmas card class, I believe. But they're a set of four cards, one of each design. So you can see you've got the birds, these great winter scenes. Sorry, I'm trying to get them to go the right way for you here. And this one, they're all packaged together. So, so cool for making holiday cards or whatever you want them to do. Nice quality textured paper. There's a second set. This one has the truck. And looks like holly berries or other Christmas foliage to me. Oops, an upside down cardinal. So pretty. And the ornaments with the little greenery. So, so nice. These, of course, are super simple instant holiday cards and that sort of thing. So you just have to figure out what you want to do with them. Um, I've got a new Penny Black product to show you. It's called Stick and Shine. Stick and Shine is similar to some, I think it was Pink and Main stickers we saw a month or so ago. But these here, they give you, I think, two sheets. Um, this one is called Extraordinary. It's the Snowflakes. Let's just check and make sure that it's two sheets. I love the clear stuff because then I can never figure out how to get it open. Um, it's not really that much of a problem. But you know me. Sometimes the fingers. Oops. But these are stickers that you can use to add foil or flocking or glitter or any number of other things to your cards or layout pages or something like that. So you get two sheets. They're both the same. That makes it easier. Plus then you have plenty of everything to go around. But how fun is that? Um, again, they suggest foil, embossing powders, and glitter. So that means they're not sensitive to heat. They're going to stand up to heat because if you're using embossing powder, you're going to have to heat it in order to get that enamel to melt. Here's another design in the stick and shine. This one's called Refinement. How pretty is that? It would be a lovely, lovely background. These are called Border Beauty. Again, two sheets in each package. Both sheets are the same do the same thing with it and this is the fun one this is words this is called Christmas classics and how pretty are they so very cool for your holiday cards or layouts or other projects by the way too so those are called stick and shine that last one was called Christmas classics also new to Penny Black I think I love that they're branching out, are some embossing folders. This first one is called Geometric. These are six by six embossing folders. We'll look at the back because it's a little easier to see the design back here. But how cool is that? It's very small. You can see on this side, it's very much all over. So it's gonna give you that um, nice, almost quilted look. This one is similar. This is called Variegated. And it almost looks like a leaf or a fern pattern on the back here. But again, I love the detail on this. This is just going to be a fun, fun dimension to add to your card. Another embossing folder, this one called dashed design let's go to the back you can see where that comes from another very cool design but you can see 
unlike those first two, it's not quite as dense. So you have a little bit more unembossed space on this one. So it just depends on your project, what you're working on, which will look better. Um, if you haven't noticed that before, I'd suggest you get one that's really dense like those first couple and one that's a little wider, um, not as densely embossed and see what you like best. And then this embossing folder is cool too. This one's called Encircle. And so it's a circle with all the dots of varying sizes. Very, very cool done. I didn't think I liked it until I saw it done. And it's like, hmm, that is really cool. So those are embossing folders from Penny Black. Next up, I have a couple of cling stamps. This one is called Birch Grove. How pretty is that? Just a lovely background for a holiday card, maybe um, some of our favorite deer in the front. It would be gorgeous. Um, this one is called hmm, Cheery. Again, very pretty, very different. I like that Penny Black keeps the distinctive style, which is so nice. Next up, we have Feathered Trio. Gotta love the birds. And some pretty simple coloring overall. You can see how easy that would be. Even the birds don't need a ton of detail. There's a larger color picture on the back for you to see. And our last cling stamp is called Cardinal Pear. Again, two cardinals with one of our birch trees, some ornaments, cool, simple, simple coloring just a couple of birds and a couple of ornaments you can do that add maybe a little bit of gray to add some dimension to your stamp trees you're done it'll be a phenomenal card very very cool again this is cardinal pear on to clear stamps we'll start with the cute little bear on the sled May your heart be as light as a snowflake. How cute is that? Here's a set called Believe in the Wonder, in the Joy. Believe in this holy night, in the magic of Christmas, in the season of cheer, in the pe sorry, in peace on earth, in the promise of a new year, in the spirit of love and goodwill. Awesome, awesome sentiments for holiday cards. The next set is called Light Your Path. May your winter be a season of rest, making room for what will come. May the true spirit of Christmas light your path. Blessed to celebrate Christmas side by side with you. Listen carefully to the silence Oh, sorry. Listen carefully. This silence is beautiful. And sleigh bells ring. That one's called Light Your Path. This one is called Noel Builder. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. The Lord has come, the first. Uh, Noel, born as the king of Israel. Joyous unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So a very, very nice set. I'm going to set this aside because those will go nicely with the die. I'm going to show you in a minute. Here is a set called Song of Peace. May the spirit of the season bring your heart a song of peace. Sending loads of cheer, all hope 
Ooh, sorry. All roads lead home at Christmas. Christmas, tenderness for the past, courage for the present, hope for the future. And sparkle and twinkle as often as possible. How fun is that? Again, a nice little stamp set from Penny Black. They had the best sentiments. This one is called First Christmas, wishing you a season that's merry and bright with the light of God's love. A silent night, a star above, a blessed gift of hope and love. Wishing you and your loved ones a blessed Christmas. May you have the gift of faith, the blessing of hope, and the peace of his love at Christmas and always. The two side. Um, may the wonder of that first Christmas and the peace of Jesus' presence be with you always. And may the spirit of Christmas be with you all year round. Such, such nice sentiments. This one is called Wrapped Up. Sending smiles across the miles for a wonderful Christmas. Have a holly jolly Christmas. The warmth of your friendship and the charm of your presence is a better gift than I could ever have asked for this Christmas. I hope you're wrapped up in so much joy this Christmas, like a big cozy blanket. Joy and blessings from our family to yours this Christmas and every day. Christmas is magical because we're together. You put the Mary in my Christmas, and the joy of Christmas doubles when you smile. Here's to hoping you're smiling as you read this. Very cool sentiments. And last up, we've got posted. It's a giant postage stamp, and you've got the post there and the cancellation mark the first for first editions and that sort of thing which is going to bring us into our dies this is called posted cutout guess what goes with it they work very well together there's a die that'll cut out this little postmark thing and the cancellation mark so you're all set uh, melissa has a really cute example in the store that's done using these two, um, the stamp and die and another stamp set. Very, very cool. Um, into the foliage and florals, this one's called Festive Finesse. Very pretty holiday foliage. Look how that turns out. And you'll recognize some of the sentiments that are here at the bottom because we've seen them in the sets we just went through. Next up is Winter's Best. A very nice berry branch. And look at that. Now remember, don't get intimidated by worrying about having to glue on these little circles. You've got so many things you can use. First of all, there's markers. You can use paints to put those on or a paint pen. You can use stickles or the Nouveau drops. There's a million things you can use to put berries on. So don't always think in terms of having to cut those teeny tiny berries and glue them on. This one is called Door and Decor. So we have a door die that's pretty decent size, the hardware for it, and a nice wreath that can be put on the door. Look how pretty that looks. With a nice sentiment, you are good to go fairly quickly. You can see your card is full. Uh, this one is called Perching. So we've got the skinny little tree branches with a couple of birds to go on top. Here's what they did with that die. Again, these are examples. You don't have to do the same thing, so be creative and use your imagination. Mix and match these dies and see what you can do with them. 
This one is called Believe Edge. You've got the word believe, and then this is the edger that cuts around the top of believe. You can see it here. What they've literally done on this card is cut the word believe in a gray. I think it's a gray, but it might be green. And then used an edger die. There's a flap that comes up. Use an edger die to cut around it. And then usually you have to stick this panel down because it doesn't want to stay down. Doesn't make sense to me that they made it a top edger die. I think I would have done bottom. Um, the ones that I have, I think the words are so pretty that I use the words and I don't worry so much about the edger die. But there are some samples in the shop, again, of cards done with the top edger die. And they're very pretty and they're very distinctive. So you decide what you like best, but there's a fair number of them for the holidays now. And then last, but by no means least, we have a die called Immense Noel. The word Noel, that's very large. Remember these sentiments? I said we'd come back to them. These could go with. So you can use the big word and some little words with it to enhance. Lots of choices with Penny Black. Lots of good stamps and dies in right now. So be sure to stop in and check them out. Watch for more videos from me. I have a lot, a lot of product here to go through and show you. Can't wait. See you soon. Bye.